You clicked on this video because you have small arms and you want them to get bigger. The arms are a muscle group that I've always struggled on. Here are pictures from me in 2021 when my arms look like twigs. And here is me in 2023 with over a five inch difference in my arms. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I did to get bigger arms. So there are two main muscle groups in the arms, the biceps and the triceps. The triceps actually make up to 70% of your arm. I'll be going over exercises for both of them, but first we're gonna go over progressive overload. Progressive overload means to gradually increase the demands on your body over time. It could be by lifting heavier weights, doing more reps, or by increasing the intensity. So for example, let's say you're doing a bicep curl with a 10 pound dumbbell for three sets of eight reps. Train for one to two weeks until you can hit three sets of 12 reps with 10 pounds. Then increase the weight and start again at eight reps. Now with higher weight, train until you can reach 12 and then repeat the process. Now once the weight starts getting really heavy, you can progressively overload by making the exercise more intense by controlling the weight on the way down for longer periods of time, such as three to four seconds, which will make the movement more difficult. Currently, I train biceps and triceps two times a week with 48 hours of rest in between them to give my muscles enough time for growth. I remember when I first started, I was not giving enough time for rest and training the same muscle group too many times in a week, which started to negatively affect my progress. So now let's get into the exercises that helped me grow. The first exercise for biceps I do is a seated bicep machine curl. This machine is great because there's constant tension on the biceps throughout the movement. Next is a hammer curl variation. I perform this with either a cable or a dumbbell. This is to target the long head of the bicep as well as a brachialis. Last is the seated incline dumbbell curl. Set the incline so your shoulders are only slightly back from where you would be in a standing position. So I'll usually use about 60 degrees. Make sure your shoulders are not rounding forward during the movement. Now when you're doing these exercises, make sure you're controlling the weight on the way down and keeping your elbow in place. For rep ranges and sets, I usually do 3-4 to four sets per exercise and stay in the 8-12 to 12 rep range. For my last exercise, which is usually the seated incline dumbbell curl, I'll use a lighter dumbbell on my last few sets and I'll push all the way till failure. For triceps, the first exercise I would do is a single arm tricep extension. Make sure to keep your elbow in one place and fully extend your arm. Next one is a tricep row pushdown. So I'll usually perform this with four sets. I'll train in the eight to 12 rep range in the first two sets. And then on the last two, I'll drop the weight and I'll go to a failure. And the next exercise is the tricep overhead cable extension. I like to perform these in the eight to 12 rep range with the cable and while I'm doing them I always make sure that I'm controlling the weight on the way down. You don't have to overcomplicate working out by doing tons of exercises in volume. As you can see here, doing two to three exercises per muscle group has really helped me. Now lastly, I want to talk about the importance of form. This is the last point I'm going to go over for this video. You have to push yourself when you're in the gym by using weight that challenges you, but you can't overdo it and use weight that's too heavy that will break your form. This especially applies to new people in the gym. You just make sure that your form is correct before going too heavy. You can risk the chance of an injury and affect progress by working out with bad form. Now that is it for today's video. Thank you guys all for watching. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content in the future.